Hey, Scorpio, it's me, Alex, and I'm here to bring you your weekly tower reading. Scorpio, I want to do something different, right? I'm going to give myself a reading and see if it resonates with you guys. <laughs> it's kind of going to be a reverse reading because in order for me to read myself, it is going to be like a, I'm reading for you guys, but... So this is almost like me bringing you guys in on one of my personal readings. All right, Alex. <laughs> okay. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Scorpio. Oh, my God. Scorpio. This is Scorpio. That's Scorpio. That's Libra. Excuse me. That's um Taurus. That's Virgo. This is Gemini in the Ten of Cups. Okay, all right, Alex. <laughs> she is looking that way. Paige is looking that way. King is looking that way. Hierophant is looking that way. The hermit is looking down. So this says to me, she's got her money, she's got her mind Look at Scorpio. She's got her, her, she's concentrated and focused on her happiness, right? She is curious about the unknown, an advisor, and also a lover of people, right? This is crazy because it's almost like these are all the different aspects of you, Scorpio. You are a spiritual advisor. You know, you're also a spirit who kind of goes within for spiritual advice. You're out in front of the masses electronically talking and communicating and, you know, telling and sharing your story and sharing yourself. You are very defensive and protective of your happiness and your heart and the things that are sacred to you. Okay, Scorpio. Come on, baby. Give me a good card to fall out now. You gonna fall out. Don't be no crap. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. Look at the King of Cups and the King of Cups. I didn't expect this, guys. Okay, you got Scorpio all over this table. Okay, all over this table. You have the Ten of Cups twice, King of Cups twice. You got the Ace of Cups. Like, damn, Alex. Okay, you got the Tower, Scorpio, Queen of Swords, Scorpio, me as a reader, right? You got the Knight of Cups, which is Pisces, right? So, shit, I'm getting chills and I didn't even say anything. Let's do it horizontally. Like I said, you're very protective over your happiness. You know, you are in a communications business. Um, you know, you're communicating, um, giving advice, you know, um, helping people advocating for people you're also looking with for um looking within to try to understand the purpose of life what's next divine guidance you got the hierophant which is again being that spiritual advisor the overseer of tradition i'm um, in the king of cups you got the king of cups there twice that's king daddy that's daddy right not only that but that's mirroring right so it's almost like if this was a love reading, this says to me that, listen, baby, unless you this king of cups, don't bring your ass nowhere near this table. Okay. Because I know who I am. I know I'm the king of cups, male or female. If you ain't got what I got, don't you bring your ass over to this table. Not only that, but I do kind of feel like for love to come in for this king of cups, whoever the hell this is, in order for this person to come in, you first must have a tower moment to knock her ass out of, off of that throne. Okay, now when I say knock her off of that throne, we need, basically what I'm saying is we need to replace her with the Queen of Cups, right? Or even King of Cups. Right now, you are so dead ass serious, Scorpio, that you don't, there is no room for error. It's like, look at this one. Mm-hmm. His shoe is untied. Next! I can't. <laughs> I can't. Not only that, but I do kind of feel like you're overprotective and not a, you're overprotective again of your heart, but also at the same time, you are looking for this tower moment. You're looking for 
the next change or the next boom, the next monkey wrench, the next shoe to drop. You know Scorpio love a shoe. You know Scorpio is a shoe hunter, okay? So Scorpio, you are looking for the next big thing. You're looking for something to break down your defenses. Let's keep it real. The only person who could do it is this King of Cups, by the way. And it's not even a matter of you letting your defenses, excuse me, him knocking down your defenses. Scorpio, you will happily lower the drawbridge for this King of Cups. Okay? Now, Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups, Ten of Cups. Ten, Knight, Ten. Okay? Scorpio, you attract love. You give love. You're very loving. You love everybody who you come in contact with. But y'all know like I know, yes, baby. Yes. She's still sitting on her throne waiting for somebody to fuck up. Okay? So we have like the biggest heart. But guess what? Our stinger is just as big. Yes, we could, we could sting every and anybody who decide they want to play or try our hearts. Okay? So you got Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups, and Ten of Cups. And also the uh, Page of Swords here. Some of you guys could be looking for love online, right? You're online. You have an online presence. You communicate online. And this is also saying to me too, I kind of feel like that's how you're going to meet your King of Cups, by the way, is online. And I'm pausing on purpose for that to sink in, okay? For hell, a lot of you guys may meet your person commenting on these videos, okay? And this is something I've been wanting to do for the longest time. Um, there was another reader on YouTube. Um, her channel is Jess Reads Tarot. And she asked all of her, um, you know, viewers to put their birth date, not date of birth, but just your month and your year, month and your day in the comments so you can find your Scorpio twin. Also, I'm playing matchmaker. Okay. So if a lot of you guys are out there and you're looking for your King of Pentacles, excuse me, your King of Cups, whether male or female, no matter what your identity, your gender preference, doesn't even matter. Go ahead and put your birth date in the comments and find your Scorpio twin. Okay. And yeah, start conversation. Okay. Because again, Alex matchmaker. <laughs> okay. Ten of cups, ten of cups. I'm saying I'm bringing the world together. Okay, Scorpio. I'm bringing the world of Scorpio together. And by the way, if y'all do get together, I must officiate your wedding. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So you got the ten of cups and the knight of cups. You do have... um. This is a loving household, right? This is this is, Ten of Cups to me is your whole love life, right? It's your family. It's everything that you love. It's everything, everybody who's in your heart. You guys are giving it and um, your heart is open. Not only is it open, but I feel like you're giving it, right? With the Page of Swords, again, that's, you know, kind of preliminary conversation. So a lot of you guys, again, may meet somebody and start talking to them online, and again, I feel like it's going to be related to this video. So we're going to have to find some way to archive this video. And when y'all are married for 8,900 years, y'all got to play this video every year on your anniversary. Okay. Um, with the, so with the hermit and then also the nine of wands. Yeah, you guys are tired. You're burnt out, right? That nine of wands is, listen, I'm tired of being defensive. You know, my guards are up. I'm tired. I'm burnt out. I got to take a knee. I need to relax. Like some of you guys are being really, really relaxed when it comes to dating and relationships. But also at the same time, I do kind of feel like this nine of wands and a hermit card has everything to do with going within and needing some sort of inspiration, right? Inspiration and some sort of spark of light. Because this nine of wands says to me also that life is becoming very fucking humdrum, right? The nine of wands is, you know what? I'm walking around. I got all of these wands. I got them all in place. I think I'm fully protected. I think they're going to hold up. I think I should be good for right now. But I done spent so much time putting these damn wands up that they wore me out, right? So the hermit says to me, you know what? I'm going to sit behind these wands. I'm not going to interact with nobody. I'm just going to find me a quiet little corner and sit behind my wands and rest, right? A lot of you guys literally are worn out, okay? Not only that, but again, it does not, it's not only specific to being burnt out, 
but it also has to do with just being fucking bored, right? Just sitting behind your guards like, damn, all right, who's going to try to make it in now who I got to keep out? A lot of you guys are really pissed off that you still got them damn nine wands up and you still got to keep people out of your heart, okay? And I feel like when you go into that, when you disconnect from the world and you have start having conversations with God and your angels, you're like, God, send me somebody who I don't need these, these wands for that I don't need this guard for, right? And then you have the Hierophant with the Ace of Cups and God is like, okay, Scorpio, okay, Alex, here it comes. But again, this tower moment has to take this Queen of Swords out, right? Because you got the Nine of Wands here, okay? And again, there is a hole in his defense system. It's right there. So even if this Nine of Wands with those Nine Wands in place, somebody could still get in technically, but baby, ain't nobody getting past her, okay? So Scorpio, I do kind of feel like you're about to have a tower moment, something to basically just kind of knock you out of alignment, like knock you off guard real quick, but it's gonna be universal so this King of Cups can make his way in, his or her way in. Because you have the Hierophant here, which is a spiritual advisor, and the Ace of Cups, that's brand new love. Alex as the spiritual advisor, telling you, you got new love coming in. Okay. So Scorpio, a lot of you guys, again, defensive, you're watching, you're waiting. It's like, look, don't bring nobody. Don't bring your ass next to this table. Okay. But you got a king of cups because you're the king of cups, but then you have another king of cups coming in. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Scorpio. Here's you, Scorpio, meeting another Scorpio. I ain't going to say nothing about that. <laughs> I ain't going to say nothing about that. And ladies and gentlemen, again, let me please remind you of all of Scorpio's presence here on this table. You have Scorpio here, Scorpio here, Scorpio here, Scorpio here, okay? And all of these cups, which is Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. Holy Toledo, we don't have any pentacles on the board. Oh, but you know what? You know what? I'm going to excuse the pentacles today because we got some good ass damn cups on this table. You got alpha and you got omega. The first one and the last one. This is all encompassing love. This is that agape love, right? But here's the thing, Scorpio, because again, if we, if we go online, y'all start talking to each other. Make sure you're talking to each other as these two people and not her ass. Okay, so if somebody say something, don't be like, look, I'm ready to cut you and sting your face off. Allow the King of Cups into your defense mechanism, right? Allow them around your guards. And again, like I said earlier, I kind of feel like this King of Cups, male or female, when they come in, when they make their way in, Scorpio, you're not even going to feel threatened, by the way, because you know your own energy, Right? You are protective of your Ten of Cups, right? Your person is tired of defending theirs, okay? So when this King of Cups come a-knocking Scorpio and is trying to take you out on a Zoom call because the world is closed, you answer that damn computer. <laughs> Scorpio. Who else is up here on this table? Taurus. Yeah, Taurus is our polar opposite. Y'all know I love a Taurus, by the way. Um, you also have Virgo here too. Um, shout out to Virgos. Um, no comment on Virgos, but these are the earth signs which are compatible with the water signs too. Okay, so Scorpio, don't forget to drop your month and your date in the comments and let's find our most our um cosmic twin. Let's see what um moonology has for you, Scorpio, and then I'm gonna get out of here. Ooh, work through your fears. Look. More Scorpio. Scorpio, you all over this reading. Could you stop throwing up on my readings, please? This is a reading for me, and this is a reading for you. Stop being so damn guarded and defensive and let love in. Balance spirituality and practicality. All right, baby. Okay, Moses. You got the Ten of Cups here twice. You got the Knight of Cups. You got the Ace of Cups and you got the King of Cups here twice. 
And yeah, so I'm going to repeat it as much as I damn want to because this right here, Scorpio, I don't know if we ever had this much positive love on the table. Look, another Scorpio card. Could y'all stop throwing up on my reading? It's time to release negativity. 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 Not only that, but I'm going to add one too. A lot of you guys are MIA emotionally, right? Bring your king ass back to the table, Scorpio, because we, we got a good match for you. Okay? Card at the bottom. Angels say cut. Be oh, Lord. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Be bold and make the first move. Come on, Angel Answers. What you got for Scorpio 2? Because we on a roll today. I didn't expect this reading. Scorpio, I thought we were going to cut up like we normally do. Baby, your heart is sitting here on this table. Confirmation, baby. Yes, it's time to open that sucker up. No, come on. <laughs> you know how this universe is. This is why I can't. This is why I have issues with y'all. Because one of the car life is all about balance, believe it or not. So to me, this is a clear representation of balance. When we say yes, when we say <laughs> Scorpio, stop. <laughs> I can't. Oh gosh, what am I plucking? Oh, within the next few months. What's the one I took off the front? Get more information. Scorpio, get more information. It's time. Listen, first of all, I just, like I said, the rule is I have to officiate your wedding. I am an, I am an ordained minister. I'm licensed. I'm non-denominational. I can officiate your wedding. So, Scorpio, get to mingling. <laughs> I love you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, my God. I'm so excited about this. You have new love coming in. You do. And it's good. It's compatible love. It's the love. It's your equal. Forget a divine. Forget a soul. This is your equal. Scorpio, this is you in another person. All right, I'm going now. Love you, babies. Bye.